Look, I've said it before as well that we don't leave anyone out. We only select the playing eleven who can do the job for us. And obviously, we've got a lot of quality, not only Kuldeep in the ranks, but we've got a lot of other quality bowlers and uh, players in the squad as well. See, New Zealand is a completely different challenge. And uh, we do respect every opposition. We know that how professional they are. They keep fighting and they'll, we expect them to fight as well. So, three test matches obviously is going to be a huge challenge and we are up for it. In fact, I said that we want to make a team that can make 400 in one day and can make a team in two days and can make a team in two days and can make a team in two days. And you say growth, adaptability, test cricket. If you play one way, then it's not growth. So, it's not that if we are in a situation, it's not that if we have to play two days, we have to make a team in two days, then we have to have a team in the individual dressing room that can make a team in two days. So ultimately, the first motive is to win a match and then the second or the last option is that if there is a team that has to win a match in such a situation, then that is the second or third option. Look, I can't do the fact that in world cricket, every team has its own ideology, every team has its own way to play. I can talk about my team that we have the same way to play in the same way that we can play in 400-400 runs and the same way that we can play in 2 days. टेस्ट मैच बैटिंग कर सके दो दिन टेस्ट मैच को ड्रॉ करने के लिए और उसी तरीके की क्रिकेट हम खेलना चाहते हैं बाकी और किसी तरीके की क्रिकेट नहीं या वी वांट पीपल टू बी अग्रेसिव वी वांट पीपल टू गो अदर एंड प्ले द नेचुरल गेम व्हाई व्हाई डू वी नीड टू होल्ड ऑन पीपल इफ दे कैन प्ले द नेचुरल गेम इफ दे कैन गेट फोर और फाइव हंड्रेड रन इन अ डे वाई नॉट and uh, and T20 cricket I've always maintained T20 cricket has to be played that way and we will play that way high risk high reward high risk high failure and we will continue to play that uh, that way there'll be days when we'll get bundled up for 100 and we'll take it up and we'll keep continue to back up players to go out there and take high risk and play high risk cricket that's how we want to play that's how we want to entertain uh, the people of this country and even in test cricket we want to t keep the game going forward keep making the game, game forward and try and get the results in whatever situation we are in See, I've said that I think uh, New Zealand is, is a completely different challenge. We know that uh, they're a very, very professional team. They've got some really high quality players. They've, uh, they've got players who can hurt us. They've got players who can do the job for them as well. So we respect them, but we don't fear anyone. I've said it many times just that we will always respect every opposition. We want to be selfless. We want to be humble. Uh, we want to try and play the game as hard as possible on the cricket field once the game is over. We want to try and stay as humble as possible. Yes, uh, but we need to be switched on from ball one. And uh, that is the responsibility of the support staff to keep the players switched on uh, come 16, 9.30, whether we are batting or bowling first and try and be as professional as we can and try and keep moving the game forward and try and get the results in our favour. See, you don't keep judging people after every game. If you keep judging people after every game, that's not fair on them as well. It's a sport. People are meant to fail. But more importantly, I think if we can get the results, if people are doing what is needed of them to uh, get the results in our favour, that is fine. There will be, there'll be times some people will succeed, some people will fail. But ultimately, if we keep judging everyone after every inning, imagine how unfair would that be? Everyone doesn't have the best days every day. I think uh, the kind of vibe we have and we'll keep, keep backing our players. My job is to keep backing the players. My job is to keep selecting the best playing 11, not dropping anyone. And I'm sure everyone, everyone is hungry and they know that there, is, there are eight test matches in a row. So this is probably the start of looking at eight test matches in a row. Look, depends on the conditions, depend on the wicket, depend on the opposition as well. And uh, the best part about this dressing room is that we've got so many high quality players in there. We can select any of them and we know that they can do the job for us. And uh, that's the best part and that is what is called the depth. Uh, and uh, we'll have a look at the wicket tomorrow. We'll have a, uh, me and Rohit will have a chat and see uh, what is the best combination to do the job at Chinna Swami Stadium. I think we always have the quality in our own backyards. Not only when I was playing, probably before me as well, when we had people like Anil Kumle and Harbhajan Singh to now. I think it's just the quality of players which we've got. And Indian cricket is always fortunate and Indian cricket will always be fortunate with the kind of talent that will come through from, uh, from a first-class structure. So consistency only comes with quality. And when you have the quality, obviously, uh, that is what a lot of players in the past and the current players have shown. If you were zamana tha, ye zamana hai bowlers ka. Or batsman, सिर्फ सेटअप करते हैं मैचेस ये जो हमारा बैट्समैन ऑब्सेस्ड एटीट्यूड है वो खत्म होना बहुत जरूरी है बैट्समैन अगर हजार रन भी बनाता है तो कोई गारंटी नहीं है कि टेस्ट मैच जीतेंगे लेकिन बोलर अगर 20 विकेट लेते हैं तो 99 परसेंट गारंटी कि हम टेस्ट मैच जीतेंगे तो टेस्ट मैचेस हो या कोई भी फॉर्मैट बोलर्स आपको टूर्नामेंट जिताते हैं बोलर्स आपको मैचेस जिताते हैं तो आई होप कि ये जो एरा होगा या ये जो वक्त होगा ये हम बोलर्स की ज्यादा बात करेंगे एज कम्पेयर टू बैटर्स एंड आई होप कि ये आगे इट्स माइंडसेट एंड माइंडसेट चेंज देखिए पहली बात तो ये है कि वो वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियनशिप फाइनल जून में 
और दूसरी बात यह कि जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में टेस्ट मैच है वो 22 तारीख को है नवंबर को अभी सिर्फ न्यूजीलैंड दिमाग में और उसके अलावा कुछ भी नहीं क्योंकि जब आप इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट खेलते हैं तो आप ये नहीं सोचते कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया सीरीज के पांच टेस्ट मैचेस में हम किस तरीके से प्रिपेयर करेंगे या वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियनशिप के फाइनल में किस तरीके से प्रिपेयर करेंगे अभी सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है कि हम सोलह तारीख को साढ़े बजे किस तरीके से रेडी रहते हैं वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि आप इतना दूर देखते नहीं है स्पोर्ट में अब ये देखते हैं कि जो भी मैच आप अपने देश के लिए खेलो उसको जीतने की कोशिश करें इर रिस्पेक्टिव कौन ऑपोजिशन है कौन ओपोनेंट है और कहां पर वो सीरीज हो रही है तो चाहे वो न्यूजीलैंड हो यहां पर चाहे वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया हो हर मैच यही कोशिश करेंगे कि जाके अपने देश को जिताने की कोशिश करें सी माई थॉट अबाउट विराट हज ऑलवेज बिन वेरी क्लियर इज अ वर्ल्ड क्लास क्रिकेटर इज परफॉर्म फॉर सच अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड हंग्रियाज when he made his debut i remember opening the batting with him when he made his debut in sri lanka to now his hunger is is always there and is already there and that is what makes him a world class cricketer and i'm sure that he'll be hungry to get runs in this series and probably moving forward to australia as well and we know that uh, once he gets into those run scoring how consistent can he be so i'm sure that uh, he'll be looking for these three test matches in uh, the series in australia